Hello guys and welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. Now as we all know, it's Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano this weekend on an absolutely stacked card from top to bottom. Now you've seen our previews, but we want to look at something a bit different today. I want to look at the fight week uh, and that obviously involves talking about this man, Eddie Hearn. Now he's been very, very vocal, him and Jake Paul have, but more on that later. We'll start with his dispute, should we say, with Sky. Obviously, Eddie's not very happy that Sky aren't out there covering this fight. You know, Sky talk about how they are the ones that push women's sport. They are the platform for women. You know, they've signed a lot of the uh, Tokyo Olympics women boxers. They're pushing it, and they're not there. And that's wrong for me, and obviously Eddie Hearn also thinks so. Because Katie Taylor, up until nearly a year ago, she fought on Sky from her debut. She won the undisputed lightweight title, which is what she's defending this weekend, on Sky's platform. And she's been a great ambassador for Sky. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky, because Sky's argument to that will be, well, obviously it's well documented, Eddie Hearn, Matchroom were with us, they've left us, they're with DAZN. Let DAZN promote it. But for me... To zone, do promote it. Look at the content there last week for Dylan White and Tyson Fury. You know, that was, it was on the Design Boxing Show, all over their social media. And it, I like Design social media because they cover everything. You know, it's not just, well, we're doing this show, we'll talk about this show. They're covering everything. And Eddie Hearn talked a lot about that, didn't he, when they signed that he was moving to the zone because it's about content and they want to produce boxing content, not just about them. So I like that. And obviously, as we know, it was available last weekend, White and Fury, through Sky. So Sky were there covering it. And then they're not there this week. I think, you know, Eddie Hearn's words were disappointed and it's petty. I kind of agree. I think it's not very good. I think they should be there. You know, you can't talk about we push women's sport. And then the one of the well, it's one of the biggest fights in boxing, but certainly the biggest fight in women's boxing. You know, you've got a seven white world champion versus a two weight, but one weight undisputed champion. They're going out. They're the biggest names, some of the biggest names in boxing, but obviously the top two in women's boxing. And Sky aren't there. And for such a big platform like Sky, I think it just makes them look quite bad, to be totally honest. I do see their argument, as I've said, but they should be there, rise above it. And it let's be honest. If Sky put a post on social media or a bit on Sky Sports News, it only brings viewers in for them. You know, more casual fans. You you can't have not heard about Taylor Serrano. But if you're tuning into Sky Sports News, you'd be like, where's the where's the content? Where's the coverage? And it's not there, but it you know, it's it's intriguing to see Eddie Hearn calling them out for it. And I respect respect the man for that. Moving on, he's getting criticism himself, isn't he, this week, for how active should we say that him and this man jake paul have been involved in the media activities in the promotion of the fight now they've both got very very big platforms and presences themselves haven't they you know eddie hearns he has to go down as at the moment the greatest promoter for me in the world i think most people do tend to agree with that and in fairness to jake paul you know with his youtube following and his general following in all over Massive, massive names. And, you know, respect to them. They've put together the biggest fight in women's boxing, possibly boxing. They've put it there. They've put us absolutely stacked undercard on to back it up. So credit to DAZN as well. And, you know, I mean, like Andy Clark, obviously, who works for Sky, has put, you know, he, we're hearing off Jake Paul, we're hearing off Eddie Hearn. I'd like to hear more from the fighters. And I do get it, but they have done their fair share of media. You know, they did the face off with Ariel Hawani. They've been on different talk shows around America. And, you know, I do sort of think if Eddie Hearn and Jake Paul are sort of taking the the weight of the media activities, it leaves Taylor and Serrano to just focus on Saturday night, doesn't it? They can just go in as, as sort of as well rested as you possibly can be with such a high profile fight and they can just go to war. And that'll be, I think, a better fight for us as boxing fans. It's it's very easy, I think, with the likes of a Jake Paul, the likes of an Eddie Hearn, how out there and in the public eye they are and with their own profiles. I think it's very easy to criticise them and sort of jump on the bandwagon of, you know, it's the, it's the Eddie Hearn show, it's the Jake Paul show. And I, it can be that sometimes, but I think sometimes it's needed because they've, you know, 
particularly obviously with Eddie Hearn, represents some fighters aren't the best talkers, aren't the best salesmen of a fight. And that's where he comes in. That's his strength, isn't it? But this weekend, the fight sells itself, let's be honest. There could have been no media and it would still do well. But with what they've brought to Fight Week, personally, I'm a fan of it. Uh, you know, more eyes, more headlines. It brings that casual audience in. And, you know, I'm sure we're going to see such a good card on Saturday night that some of the, some of those casual fans will be converted to more hardcore and regular watching boxing fans. So I'm intrigued to know what you guys think. Let us know in the comment section. If you're still with us and you haven't, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, join us on the weekend. We've got a lot, lot more content coming for you.